This is the iPhone 12 mini. So this is the iPhone that I've been most excited to getting my hands on, opening, using, because it's an entirely new thing. And here's the thing, after watching multiple reviews beforehand, I've noticed that it really does not look that small on camera. It looks like any phone in any review ever. But in person, I can assure you 1 million percent, this is tiny. And it's, it's amazing how tiny this guy is. It's so, so cool and refreshing to hold a phone this small. I love it. Now, like every other iPhone 12, you get USB-C to Lightning, and then you get like Apple stickers, SIM card ejection, and then you, well, then you don't get anything, you know, no charger. So, and I'll talk about that in a minute. I've got my thoughts about that. But this is the phone, and I, I like, I really, I don't know. You know what I, you know what I mean? It's cool. It's really cool. And if you're looking for a small phone right off the bat, this could potentially be your guy, especially if you're into iPhones. And this is like, I'm almost certain that you should just go ahead and buy this phone. I don't even think you need to think twice. But anyway, this is the display, AMOLED display, and then you have the frame, aluminum frame, and it's relatively thin. And it's a very light phone, by the way. You do still have lightning and, you know, speakers at the bottom, dual speakers. Not happy about lightning. Not the slightest bit, but whatever. Volume, all the usual things from an iPhone. It's exact same kind of look as the iPhone 12, and then you got cameras and the back. And it's a very, very light phone. I This is probably like one of the lightest phones to ever exist, I think. You think? I don't know. Yeah. And you know how in like Marquez's videos, he has like massive hands. I feel like a Marquez when I use this phone, because like I can reach every single corner. I don't know. It's cool. And it is a really small phone and it's super easy with one hand. If you've ever used like one of those old OG iPhones, iPhone 4, iPhone 5, you know what I'm talking about. This is the exact same experience, except it's a much nicer screen. And when I say exact same experience, I talk about like, you know, the use of the physical form factor. But this is like the 2020 experience, the software, iOS, on point. The screen looks so solid. The cameras are going to be really, really good. We're going to look into that. And overall, thin, so light which i've said like a thousand times but that's because i mean it but overall i have really really nice first impressions of this and right off the bat what i want to say is i wish there was a 12 pro mini and hopefully we'll see something like that next year but anyway these are my first impressions so this is an iphone 12 i'm sure you've watched many different reviews unboxings and impressions of the iphone 12 it's the exact same thing right but the part which is impressive the part which sticks out is that it's an iphone 12 in such a small body so literally everything about the iphone 12 take that apply it to this but then add like a few extra points of wow factor for how small it is and satisfaction and coolness you know what i mean and if you want a small phone then functionality wise this really really does meet it the only thing is when comparing the 12 to the 12 Pro, you're losing a telephoto, you don't have a matte back, and that is about it. You don't get a LiDAR sensor either, which is a depth sensor. And that's about it, which is why I would say, you know, just for the sake of every single type of consumer out there who would prefer those extra things you get with the Pro, I wish that that was an option with the Mini. I wish you had an iPhone 12 Pro Mini. But I love this phone. Reaching each corner, super, super simple. It feels very nice and solid crazy light, pretty thin, gets covered in fingerprints, easiest phone to handle and pick up and all of that. And, and, and that's kind of that. And it hits all the standards. And that's the part that's impressive because while it's an iPhone, which means a lot of things, it means refined software, refined service, refined build quality. But while it's an iPhone, it also means all the other technical specifications and expectations. For example, water resistance. And that's a small thing, plus wireless charging. But the idea is, the point is, it's an all-round phone. It's like any flagship phone, except it's tiny. And it's really, really, really satisfying to see that because you feel like you're looking at a toy, but when you use it, you feel like you're using, well, you feel like you're using an iPhone, a well-built, well-thought-out, premium iPhone. In terms of complaints, my usual complaints are like lightning, why is that there? We should have USB-C, you know, that's a bit boring. But you know, what is a cool thing is you have MagSafe. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. You can see with the magnet paper where the magnets are located. 
and you know that's where magsafe connects and it charges and then you have the magsafe wallet you have the magsafe cases you have that entire magsafe ecosystem and also it has an iphone camera on a mini phone you can see i keep mentioning this whole mini phone thing it's because it impresses me it's because it's a new thing and it's an interesting thing and it's not compromising on anything except for maybe battery life which i don't know about i've only had it for like hours so but right off the bat zero compromises in comparison to the 12. Along with, you know, the standard iPhone photos, you also get the video, which is the part that impresses me. Let me show you some of these. Now, what I really like about Apple Photos is that they keep the processing to a minimum. It doesn't result in a photo with over sharpening, an exaggeration of colors, that kind of thing. So it ends up looking very, very professional and subtle, but in a good way. And plus with that, it looks really nice outside with the dynamic range in the clouds, it looks really good. And it's situations like these where the ultra wide looks really nice because you got that really nice lighting and a suitable wide frame. But then this whole thing about processing and sharpening also applies to videos. This is why I love Apple cameras because the videos end up looking really, really nice. My only complaint is I wish it had a larger sensor because then you'd get more of that blurred background, that bokeh. But other than that, it looks really nice, especially in landscapes. The issue with the ultra wide lens though is it's one of those things that the conditions have to be really good for it to look good if the conditions are bad then it falls apart really really quickly really really easily but overall solid video you're getting that adobe vision at hdr and it gives you a lot of versatility when it comes to working with these kinds of videos i will even advertise this camera to work in filmmaking which is interesting not sure but you know i think it's doable now look, in terms of the power brick situation, I'm all for helping the environment all that, like that's all good, but I'm not happy with the way Apple went about this, because in the box they included a USB-C to lightning cable, which happens to need a USB-C power brick, which happens to be the power brick that nobody has, except for the iPhone 11 owners. And Apple know if you want to use that cable, then you're going to have to go into their store and buy a 20 pound or dollar power brick. So what they should have done was either A, have been using USB-C to lightning cables for years with USB-C power bricks in the box for years beforehand, or heavily discount the USB-C power brick now for iPhone 12 owners. The same thing applies to MagSafe. Their 40 pound wireless charger comes with a connected cable that only connects to a USB-C power brick, which means you have to go buy one if you don't have one. So this is why I'm unhappy with the situation. And so it seems like a money grab. Anyway, now finally, in terms of specs, you're getting a 5.4 inch OLED display which takes up pretty much the entire front with a 1200 nit peak, drop resistant ceramic glass, IP68 water and dust resistance, Apple A14 Bionic, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel wide, stereo speakers, lightning ports, MagSafe, Face ID, 2227 milliamp hour battery, fast charging at 20 watts and fast wireless charging at 12 watts plus ios 14 plus apple services and that whole iphone experience that's what you're getting here i hope you guys enjoyed the video please 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 subscribe because i'm trying to get 10k by the end of the year and a like and comment really help with the algorithm if you could do that check out my instagram at the rami nagar for a behind the scenes perspective and you know you get to see me work my magic do the stuff that i do and like, yeah, that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one. Salam. So